Welcome back to Let's Play of Naruto Generations with Sebastian here. Yeah. We just finished the fight with uh, Gara. This incident soon brought forth the ninja of the Hidden Leaf, allies of the Sand Village. It was Sasori of the Red Sand who confronted them. His challengers were the Leaf Kunoichi Sakura Haruno and Sasori's own grandmother, Shio. Okay, fine. Regret. Regret. Okay, hold on, people. I'll be right back. As apprehension welled in their breasts, Sasori drew forth a scroll. Rejoice, you unworthy dogs, for you shall meet your end at the hand of the third Kazakage. No way! Sakura, stay calm. I'm here. You at least try to entertain me. <laughs> Game over, people. Back, you guys will get to see my skill. Young Nation 96, follow me on Twitter. Sebastian Caldwell, follow me on Facebook. Darkmaster96101, follow me. That's my gamer tag. Add me if you want to play me. Let the battle begin! Thank <laughs> you. 
I didn't want this whole part to be about the sauce, man. Huh? Like, like, just like fighting it. The reason I felt like that was because I just came back and my mom had to call me and all that stuff. Hold on. I'll, 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 be, I'll be back with the fight starts. What are you doing? Xbox is gonna be. What are you doing? Just, just saying. Just saying. What are they doing? Sakura! and Chio were hard-pressed by Sasori's astounding prowess. The bitter fighting ended, however, with Sasori's defeat. For in the depths of Sasori's heart, a last vestige of feeling still remained. It was this emotion which led to the moment of weakness that brought him defeat. The Akatsuki's next move was to send Hidan and Kakuzu with their unique powers to the Hidden Leaf Village where the Nine-Tailed Jinchuriki Naruto Uzumaki awaited. These two immortals were able to enter the village despite all the Hidden Leaf's resistance. But waiting to greet them along with his friends was the strongest ninja of the Hidden Leaf, Kakashi Hatake. Eager to avenge his master, and, and Hidan raised his voice in joy, ecstatic at the new sacrifice presenting itself before him. Curses like chickens always come home to roost. You defeated my master. Can't just let you go on living, running around free. Asuma died. Hear me. In the blink of an eye, this fool shall be no more! Till we get back, people.